So uh, today is going to be a short tutorial. Uh, it's a case of showing you guys how you can uh, place an adaptive uh, component uh, based on a civil 3D feature line using Dynamo. So we're going to use a retaining wall as an example. So the first step is you're just going to open up civil 3D and create a, a feature line and assign it some elevations. And then after that, you're going to export it uh, to DW, save it as a DWG and then bring it into Revit adaptive space. And then after that, generate the Dynamo script to place it. All right. So before I get started, I would like to ask you guys to please uh, subscribe to the channel and promote the channel as much as you can because it helps, you know, uh, gain a wider audience. And also, if you want exclusive tutorials and much more exciting tutorials, you can join the membership. And if you want the project files, you can join my Patreon. All right, without further ado, I think we can start. So the first thing is you're just going to open up a new uh, Civil 3D uh, template. So I'm just going to use a polyline and make sure that the snap is on, uh, the restrict cursor is on. So our line is going to be 100 millimeter straight. I'm just going to say zoom and extend. So after this, I'm going to select the polyline, go to feature lines and say create feature lines from objects. And then I'm going to assign it uh, elevations. So I'm going to say assign elevations and then I'm going to leave everything as it is and say OK. And then I'm going to say OK. So at the moment, everything is zero. We only have two points, this one and that one. But I want to uh, create multiple points at an increment of 10 meters. So our retaining walls are generally going to be 10 meter increment. So in order for me to do that, I'm just going to scroll up while our feature line is still selected. Go to insert elevation point, and then it's going to give you two options uh, down there. It's going to give you uh, whether you want to place your points based on distance or increment. In this, in this instance, I'm going to go with increment and then it's going to say specify the distance between the points. So I'm going to type in 10 and press enter. And then I'm going to press escape. All right. So now it has generated your points. And how do you confirm that? You're going to go up again, elevation editor. And then this is going to pop up. So it's going to show you the points that have been created. So like I said, I want our feature line not to be entirely straight. So I'm just going to add a gradient. So in this instance, I'm just going to change the grade ahead to three degrees. So you can select one and say shift on your keyboard, select the last one and then select one and then change it to three. And then all of them are going to change to three. And then you're going to say finish. And this is what we have. So the elevations are going to be very much different, as you can see under the elevation uh, in brackets, actual, the actual elevations. All right. So after this, I'm just going to type in proxy graphics, set it to one, and press enter. And then after that, I'm just going to save this as a DWG. Go to... Uh, So I saved that as a DWG. The next thing is we're going to open up Revit. So in Revit, you're going to go to new family and say metric generic model adaptive and say open. So the first thing is we're going to create the profile of our retaining walls. And then we're going to create a form for our retaining walls. And then we're going to create a Dynamo script. So we're going to go to reference level. And then we're going to choose our point, place it right there. Select this point, make it adaptive. And then I'm going to go to the left elevation. And then I'm just going to choose this line. Set my reference to reference plane center left or right and say OK. And then I'm going to start from this point. So I'm going to take it up by, let's say, 7,005. And then to the right by, let's say, uh, I'm going to make it 500 millimeters. And then I'm going to place this one like that. So I'm going to start from this point again, take it to the left by, let's say, 1.5, and then down by 1,000 millimeters, and then to the right by 7,500, and then up. So in this instance, uh, this one, I'm going to make it 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5,
uh, okay this let's just do this so i'm going to offset this line by 1500 so this is going to be a temporary line so that i can align it like that all right so this one i'm just going to join it like that and so if you go to the 3d view this is what we have all right the next thing is you're going to go to file and say new and then family and you're going to create the new uh, metric generic model adaptive and say open and after this you're going to go to reference level and then i'm just going to paste two points one right there and then one right there i'm going to select the two points make them adaptive and then go to uh, our profile family i'm just going to load it into that family where we place the two adaptive points Go to the 3D view, and then for the first one, I'm going to set my work plane towards the horizontal plane of this adaptive point, and then place it. Do the same thing for the second one, and then place it. All right, so I'm going to select the two profiles and say create form. Now, to make sure that this works, you have to test it. So if you move it this side, it moves. If you move it this side, it moves. And then same thing, if you move it up, down, and it's very much uh, perfect. All right, so I think the next thing is you're going to go to file again and say new and say family. And then you're going to go to metric generic model adaptive again for the third time. And in this space, this is where we're going to go to manage and say dynamo to generate our dynamo script. Okay, so after this, we're going to load that family into this environment and then generate the Dynamo script. And then after that, uh, we'll see how it looks. So if you want a much more exciting uh, projects, uh, make sure you join my membership. And if you want these project files, make sure you join my Patreon. And I've been getting some requests in terms of the courses. So the, the first one I'm thinking about is the bridge modeling one for uh, a combined cable state bridge along with the girder bridge so i'm gonna attempt to to do that one all right so okay so in dynamo um the first thing is we're gonna like create a new uh, empty workspace and then you're gonna right click on your mouse, say, and then type in select. Model element. And then you're gonna go with poly curve or curves. Connect it, make sure you set this to manual. And then you're gonna go with list.item get add index so it's list dot get item at index so it's this one gonna connect it and then you're gonna type in a slider So you can go with integer slider, connect it right with the index, and then we're gonna go with list flatten just to clean our data. And after that, you're gonna go with curve dot start start point. Actually, it's curve dot start. Yeah, so it's start point and then curve dot end end point. So you're gonna connect it like that, and then you're gonna go with the list create. So you're gonna create two of them, connect them like this, and then we're gonna go with list dot transpose. And then we're gonna go with adaptive by point adaptive component. No, 
not this one. Productive. Say by point. This component. By point, there you go. And then you're going to type in family types. And then you're going to connect it right there, and then this one right there. So if you just reduce the size of Dynamo, and I'm going to go back to that family of our retaining wall, and I'm just going to load it into my workspace where I have generated my Dynamo script. And then I'm going to open up my Dynamo again, and then I'm going to choose that family. And so after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Insert, Import CAD, and then I'm going to import the CAD file that we have generated. So, so make sure it's set to uh, origin, to internal origin, and then you can say OK. So I'm going to zoom towards it, show, close it, and then after that, open up Dynamo. So if I select this, select model element, I'm going to select the DWG. And then after that, I'm going to run the script. And OK, let's see what happens. All right, so let me just set this to the units, to meters in three decimal places and say OK. So I'm going to open up Dynamo script again. And let me just deconnect this and then reconnect it. And then I'm going to run the script again. Oh, I think the one note I forgot to do is, let me just right click, is element dot uh, geometry it's important one so it's this one and i'm gonna connect it right there and then this one right there right so i'm gonna run the script again see okay, let me set this to zero run the script again Change this to two. All right, so set your integer slider to zero and then everything else is okay. So we just scroll down. This is what we have. So let me show you again. You have your feature line. You're gonna open up Dynamo and then you have your select model element, element.geometry, which is going to show you the feature line. If you scroll down and then selected um, it's going to show you that the, the the feature line is selected poly curve by curves it's going to show you the amount of uh, segments which are contained within the feature line and also the x y and z uh, uh, values and then it's going to arrange your data and then it's going to clean your data and then you have the start point and end points you're going to click the list just to combine it transpose it and then you're going to assign it the family that you have generated. So it's this one. And then after that, you're going to select it, select your feature line, and then you're going to run your script, and then it's going to appear like that. OK. So yeah, that's it. Uh, that was a short tutorial. Just wanted to show you guys how you can uh, place uh, Revit elements based on civil 3D data as basic as we can. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. And uh, yeah, please like, subscribe, and share, and peace.